Hi, my name's Claire. I'm the general manager at Home Instead um, over in Stockport and Thameside. Um, I'm excited to be on this with you today and to share with you all about um, working in, in care with us uh, and what we can offer. Um, so um, I've been with Home Instead now for nearly five years, started my journey as a recruitment coordinator through to a recruitment manager, head of caregiver experience and since October last year um, I became the general manager. So a very exciting career that I've had with Home Instead myself um, and I'd now like to tell you a little bit about Home Instead and why we're different. So Home Instead is the world's leading provider of non-medical care uh, and companionship services and it allows people to stay living in their own homes with our fantastic care and support. We have a minimum um, visit of one hour and we go through the matching process. So that means that we look at the caregivers, we look at the clients, we look at your um, the needs and the wants of the clients, and then the hobbies, the interests, the talents and the skills that you as a caregiver has got. And then we put that match together to form that professional relationship to allow you then to deliver the best care possible with our care and support. As a, as a company, we very much look at core um, values for the recruitment process. And um, that means that what we're looking for is that you have a caring nature. You use your life experiences and the transferable skills that you can bring to us. This year, more than ever during the pandemic, um, you know, just to let you know that we've had teachers who have been homeschooling by day making a huge difference for the children in the community and then by now they've been out working with our clients and making a difference to allow them to live at home. We've had an air stewardess who was made redundant, totally changed her career to come and work in care but thinking about all the transferable skills that she could bring with her, all those people that she's walked and talked with, all those people she's given reassurance to that have been really um, uncertain um, around flying and she's needs to really support them along the way and those skills and experiences have been fantastic when she's been communicating with our work clients. We had a lady that came to us, she was made redundant from um, uh, the local bookies and um, told me when she came on the interview, I have no um, experience in care. Then as the session carried on, she then started telling me how much she had supported a gentleman every single day at exactly the same time when he'd arrived, um, arrived into the shop, chatted to her, had a cup of tea with her and the support that she'd given him. So then thinking about those transferable skills and experiences that she could bring over to us. Six months later, she's an absolutely amazing caregiver and we still reflect on the, uh, the work that she did um, in her previous careers. You need to have excellent communication skills that can be verbal, non-verbal, you know, um, our clients communicate in all different ways, body language, um, we have some clients that are unable to verbally communicate so they write things down, so um, you need to have empathy towards others, so really understand what it is that they're going through and be able to walk the walk with them, have that real good level of understanding and also for their families, having empathy for the families and what they're going through as well. You do need to have a driving's license with us and access to use your own vehicle for work because you are traveling between our clients' homes with a dedicated travel time. Also, our clients very much do want to go out into the community. So um, you might well be taking them um, to the local park for their current wellbeing walk or to go and get their essential groceries. But as the community starts opening back up again, we do facilitate an awful lot of community cafes and lunch clubs and um, day trips. Um, so we do support our clients to get out as much as we possibly can. Um, you need to be very reliable. Our, care, our clients um, are expecting caregivers at a dedicated time um, and they build up that relationship with you. So they need to know that you are coming on, on the day that you should be arriving and at the time that you should be there. You really have to have a desire to help others. It's so important having that huge big heart of gold, wanting to make a difference and have a rewarding job is most definitely what we are looking for. And the passion needs to come through right from the very start when you first make that inquiry with us. You need to live in the Stockport and Thameside area so that it's realistically 
able for you to get to our clients. You know, we've had snow days, um, fortunately, um, not as many as um, other areas. But when we have had snow days, working in your local neighbourhood still enables you to put on your wellies, put on your bobble hat and make your way to your clients. And it was absolutely amazing when we did have some snow days um, not too long ago when our clients were waiting at the door with um, hot chocolate and, um, and toast for the clients on arrival as they walked up their paths. And again, we just focus on the communication skills that you need to have as a care um, as, a, as a caregiver, um, both to be able to communicate effectively with us in the office as well. Um, and there is a lot more technology involved these days, so you need to be confident um, with IT technology to be able to access things on the phone um, as necessary as well. So. Um, why, why home instead? It's important to think about what we offer that makes us stand out as an employer. We are delighted that so many people come knocking on our door for, for care. And it's even better when they say it's because my friend works for you or it's because I've seen your caregivers out in the community. I've seen your reviews on social media um, and we are what we say that we work, we, are, we, we offer. Um, we offer competitive rates of pay between £10.20 and £10.40 an hour and it's double pay for bank holidays. We have a clear career progression. So when you start with us, everybody works towards achieving the care certificate and we celebrate that achievement with you with a nice bottle of bubbly. Um, and we also give you at that point at the end of the probation period of three months for completion of the care certificate, we give you £100 as well. We offer ongoing further training and development. So we have two in-house trainers, one who is also a registered nurse. We're accredited to deliver sitting guilds in end of life and dementia care. And we also encourage you and signpost you to do MVQs as well, which are fully funded by ourselves. Career progression is something that's really important to us. And we have a fantastic career progression from you as caregivers. And it's important that we remember that not everybody wants to progress into an office environment. So although I spoke at the beginning about my journey um, within the office and, and how I progressed, um, we are aware that caregivers often like to still be out in the community supporting clients. So we have a good career progression available where you can upskill and um, think about the length of service and the different opportunities and become caregiver ambassadors and champions and seniors and stay out in the field and indeed support other caregivers as well that are embarking on their journey with us. We have ongoing continued support either from our trainers or indeed our community support workers who are out there to support you and walk the walk with you while you're out trying to get into that key safe at night or you've got a medication issue. It's always our team that are at the end of the phone to help you. As I said, we are core value recruitment. We really want to know about you. We deliver person-centred care to our clients and we recruit on a person-centred basis. So you are all individuals to us. We offer committed working hours. So we were aim to give you a good work-life balance. And we really think about what hours it is that you're looking to work and you commit those hours to us as a provider. And then we match you to your clients. We offer continuity of care. So with that, we look for you to be able to go to the same clients each day that you're working so you can build up that trusting relationship with us. And most of all, we offer job satisfaction and our caregivers absolutely love the jobs that they are doing. And it is my absolutely delight now to um, introduce you to one of our caregivers by the name of Wendy. Wendy has been with us now for three years and is going to talk you through her role as a rewarding caregiver. And indeed, we are so delighted that she was a winner um, for um, Home Instead for the Home Care Worker Award last year, and she was a national finalist. So a huge congratulations to Wendy um, and welcome to Wendy, who is now going to talk you through her journey as a caregiver and her role. Years. Sorry, Wendy, they just missed out on the audio from the start. Could you just start again for us, please? OK, my name's Wendy um, and I've worked for Home Instead for just coming up to three years now. Um, my background was the work originally was the work in childcare, but I came into care because um, my mum 
was terminally ill. We had a fantastic team that came in to um, help us look after mum in her final days. And it was so rewarding and sort of meant such a lot to us as a family, sort of these ladies that used to come in and help us care. It just made me feel as though sort of like I wanted to give something back to the community. Um, so I um, did a little bit of research and sort of came across homeinstead.org and sort of really liked the work ethos and the fact that sort of, you know, we get at least an hour with each of our clients to sort of really form and forge a good friendship and sort of bond, working bond with our clients. Um, it's not all just personal care. We do lots of other different things. We, you know, sort of we offer companionship. We help make meals and things like that and everything and what have you. So you really do build a good relationship with your clients and they become friends more than, than clients really. Sort of, and I really look forward to going out you know, each day to sort of visiting my clients and making that positive, positive difference to their lives each day. You know, sort of enabling the clients to be able to stay at home, to access you know, areas of the community that they might not be able to do, you know, if we weren't going in. And sort of generally, sort of, you know, helping the families to keep their loved ones at home, you know, for as long as possible. Um, we have a good working relationship with all our other fellow caregivers as well. And, um, it's just fantastic, fantastic job. It's so rewarding and I just go home from work every day with such a happy heart. Um, I can't imagine ever doing anything else again. Um, training, we, we have lots of training, so there's never any task that's too daunting or, you know, you don't feel as though you can't do it. And then if you are a little unsure, you know, then there's always somebody at the end of the office saying sort of like to help us and guide us through and everything. So people shouldn't be reluctant about coming into care and think that sort of like oh I can't do that or I couldn't do this or anything because you absolutely can you know it's the support there for, for everybody um I'm just trying to what else I need to say it's just it's just an absolutely amazing job and I was absolutely thrilled to bit to um to win the Northwest Caregiver Home Caregiver Award so just kind of sort of my day my you know, just going through with what I do with one of my clients is I go in the morning and sort of, you know, make her a cup of tea. We then sort of administer medication. We have a chat while she has a breakfast, you know, sort of and talk about things that she'd like to do today. Um, it's always about client's choice. You know, sort of if, you know, the client wants to go out, we go out. If they want to stay in, we stay in. We do crafts, um, we plant plants, we bake, we cook, you know, um, lots and lots and lots of different things. And um, sometimes it can involve just, just going shopping or just sitting and having a cup of tea because we might be the only people that those clients see that day. So it's making a positive difference in their lives and helping them to sort of feel as though they're a valued member of the community, you know, and um, that they've got a purpose in life, you know, sort of not just sitting at home, especially in the current times when everybody's had to stay at home. Um, it's just keeping them in touch with sort of like the outside world as well. So I absolutely love my job. I wouldn't give it up for anything. <laughs> Thanks so much, Wendy. And Wendy is, you know, one of 110 caregivers out in the community with us, and she's absolutely fantastic. Um, and it, we do we do value each and every one of our caregivers. Um, and it's been lovely to see Wendy come and join us um, and how she's progressed herself over the last three years. And we look forward to uh, her progressing even further in the future. So what, what I just want to finish off by telling you is that should you wish to look about a career as a caregiver with Home Instead, you can contact us by calling us on 0161 480 0646. We do have a Facebook, which is Home Instead Stockport. And we do have a website, which is www.homeinstead.co.uk slash Stockport. And we look forward to hearing from you very soon. Thank you. That's great. Thanks very much, Claire. And lovely to hear from Wendy with a real life account this morning. It really makes a big difference to hear from somebody who's doing the job and is clearly so passionate about it.